everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today is Friday, it's the first day of the four day bank holiday in the UK. So we're just going to have a really nice chilled weekend. I don't know what we're going to get up to. The weather is absolutely glorious today and I've got a long sleeve top on but I haven't actually been outside. Like it's really blue skies but I don't know how hot it's going to be. So yeah, I'm being cautious and going with this. But this top is just from New Look. I've got my... Um, H&M necklace on that I think I've shown in a couple of videos. Jewellery, I've just got some hoops in from New Look. My, what's this called? Ear cuff from Astrid and Miu and then just a small hoop up there from Astrid and Miu as well. I've got my hair in like this little bun and I'm really loving it. Like it's just nice to get it out of my face. We're meant to be getting our hair cut um, on the, I think it's like the 15th of April so just a few days after like everything officially lifts in the UK so I'm really looking forward to that. Also what do we all think of the little ivy plant up there in the corner? I think it's really cute. It was on the ladders and I've changed the ladders round and I'm not gonna lie I'm not 100% happy with them but I am really loving that up there. I just think it's like I don't know it just gives the kitchen a bit of something. I'll show you properly. Yeah I just thought it looked really cute with the picnic basket up there. So yeah feeling nice and energized this morning. Did a workout just the normal one that I always do and then I've got a shower, had some fruit for my breakfast so I'm feeling very energized. I'm already so Sweating. I'm literally boiling. Put some setting spray on today because I feel like my makeup's just gonna slide off my face. I'll probably just keep you updated with what we do. As I said, no particular plan. So, hope you enjoy. I think we're gonna go home for the day and go for a walk. So, obviously in the UK now we can see people up to six outside. So, yeah, I think we're gonna go for a walk with my family. Or I think Jen's gonna go for a walk with her family. I'm gonna go for a walk with my family. Um, I'm gonna give them some banana bread because I baked that a couple of days ago. Um, and Jen doesn't like banana bread, so I've really had no one to share it with. It smells incredible. It looks a bit burnt on the edges, but um, I don't know if anyone else's banana bread does this. I feel like when the top looks done, you stick the knife in and it's just nowhere near finished. Like the knife just comes out really gooey. <laughs> so yeah, I always end up burning the top a little bit, but it does actually look really good. So I'm going to take that home. I think I'm going to get some lunch. I'm quite hungry. So I'm going to get some crisps, I think. So I've had these crisps for ages and I've never got around to eating them. They're called Emily Veg Crisps Sweet Potato Sticks with Chilli and Lime. So I'm going to eat these. One of you five a day. There you go. So yeah, I'm going to eat these and maybe make myself a wrap or something. And then waiting for Jen to get home and then we'll probably head off, I think. So it's a few days later now, but I've decided we're just going to put it all in the same little vlog because to be honest, I've hardly filmed any clips as you'll probably see. It's going to be a mishmash of A mishmash, everything. yeah. Today is the first exciting day in a few days to be honest. We're going to go to Dun & Massey, aren't we? We are. So we've got a picnic blanket with us, we've got some food, the weather looks amazing. We've got our sunglasses on. I was say amazing, so, it looks... It looks, it looks lovely. Sunny but, but cold. Oh I'm telling her not to talk over me because <laughs> we end up talking over each other and we watch videos, to be fair, on YouTube, don't we? That like people talk over each other and it annoys us, so we should try and not do it. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna take you along. I've got an Amazon parcel to open later on, but I'm probably gonna do it later now because we need to get going, it's around lunch time, so if we're going to catch like the nice weather, we want to go now. So there's been a change of plan. 
because we weren't prepared, we didn't realise that you had to actually book to go to Dun & Massey. Yo. <laughs> and you can only book like the day in advance, you can't book actually on the day, which is super annoying. So we're we'll going to Town Park instead, aren't we? <laughs> which is still nice. We've been there like tons of times. So we've still got a picnic and everything. And it'll still be nice. I think it's just that we hype ourselves up to go to somewhere near. Yeah, we also forgot it's the school holidays, so that's why everything's booked up. Because we were looking for even tomorrow, and tomorrow's completely booked up as well. And we're going to go to Chester Zoo next week. I'm so excited. Not it, been to the zoo in forever. Well, it's at the indoor stuff shop, but I can't remember what's indoor. I know there's like butterflies oh. and. What is all that? I don't know. That's what fell in the car. It's like blossoms. It's not snow, is it? Better not be snow. <laughs> at least we can still take our picnic and do what we were going to do just at a different place. Yeah, they've got an ice cream place there as well. If it's do you mean in the park know, or do you mean in the shop? No, near the park. Beth, yeah, this is snow or hail. Show them. Show them. Because it was falling into the car. I don't think you can see. Look at the sky. It's nice there. I don't that know what that is. Weird. Literally oh, it's hail. Right, it's hailing. Okay, that's alright. I brought my sunnies and everything and now I can't even use them. I'm dressed half a summer, half a winter. <laughs> We've got gloves on. <laughs> it's actually really cold. I'm but, great temperature now. Yeah, it's windy so both we both get really watery eyes. I'm sorry, you're probably not going to be able to hear any of we this. We get watery eyes. <laughs> we get really watery eyes so the gloves are great. Oh, the glasses are great, but then the gloves are for our hands because it is actually really cold. It's just windy, it's not like... It's just nice to be out and about, to be honest, isn't it? We can pretend this is done in person. Yeah. It's the same thing. It's practically the same, the same thing concept. and we've gotten it for free because we walked, so... Yeah. Not Money much. saving tips. Oh, no. No. We've <laughs> parked somewhere outside the park and have walked in, so... I'm going to have to go, my hands are freezing. <laughs> later on now apologies for the fact that my head's half chopped off i've left my tripod in the car and i really can't be bothered to go downstairs and get it but i said i was going to open my amazon parcel so i'm quickly going to do it now um, i haven't actually said what it is have i it's um some lights to go underneath the like kitchen cupboards I'm so excited. So I got the inspiration from Mark's flat tour. Like, when did he film it? Like a few weeks ago, maybe a month or so ago. And I really like the look of them. And I just thought it would spice up the kitchen a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go and get some batteries because as I said, I hadn't got any. But, oh, it looks proper fancy. So it comes with the remotes. There's actually two remotes, which I wasn't expecting. Um, but then, I think it's got 12, yeah, 12 colours and then it's got dimmer options with it as well. And then I think it comes with six lights. So which brand was it? I literally just searched them on Amazon. They do tons, but I read the reviews. Some have better reviews than others, so I'll just have a look around. Oh, I'm so excited. Yes, yeah, so you can either do like nails, which obviously we're not going to do. We're in a rented place. Or these um, adhesive strips. So, 
very excited. I'm gonna go and get these batteries and then I will come back and show you the lights. Okay, so we're really losing the light. I was way longer in Home Bargains than I meant to be, but I did pick up the batteries. I picked up a couple of extra things just because I can't help myself, to be honest. So obviously the batteries, I got some white tack, which I'm actually gonna use instead of the adhesive strips, just because I'm paranoid about it marking the kitchen cupboard. I then got four of these mason jars. They're really pretty from Home Bargain. They're 99p. I've got loads of them for my baking stuff. These are the ones, and they've got like the gold tops on them, which I like, so I've got four of them. Um, and then the last thing, Again, really did not need this, but it's a really nice little mesh like basket. So it's metal and then it's got this really nice um, light wood on the handle. Excuse me. Um, yeah, so I thought this was going to be really nice. Just on top of the kitchen cupboard with like the plant and the picnic ba basket. For now, I am going to sit here and put the batteries in all of these. I swear I'm like the world's most cack handed person ever. So let me just see. So I think in theory, now that the batteries are in that, this is supposed to just turn them on. Look how cool. And then, oh, I like this. So apologies for the really bad lighting situation, but obviously I'm gonna show you the lights in the kitchen. So obviously you need it dark. These have to be one of my favorite purchases that I've ever made for the flat, like hands down. I love them. Look at these, how good. I absolutely am obsessed. Eee. So, so far pink and my fave and green. I think green's really cool as well. I would highly, highly recommend these lights if you're just literally looking to spice the kitchen up a little bit. Morning everyone, or I think, it, is it actually afternoon? Yeah, it's 10 to one. We have filmed a YouTube video this morning, which was really good. It was the blindfold and makeup challenge, but this time I was doing Jen's makeup. So last time, if you've not already seen it, Jen has done my makeup and that is already up on my channel. Um, the other one will be going up after this vlog. I think. So we're gonna go for a walk now and then I think we're gonna come back and do another video. We're gonna go out and get some lunch, aren't we? Yeah. Because there's like this truck in the middle of Manchester. Truck? No. Van. Thing. Catering van. Catering van that does like Greek style food and they've got like a halloumi flatbread thing that I'm dying to try. It's always so busy though whenever we look at it, like the queue is ridiculous like every single time but hopefully it's gonna be okay. <laughs> So we have just waited like 20 minutes in a queue, but it looks insane. So I hope it was worth it. You just tried yours, is it good? I've literally just had the bread, but yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> looks amazing, I've gone for halloumi. Jen's gone for Gideon. chicken. Taste test. I just spilt it. Jen has got it all down. All on my legs. Because I tried to get her film in it. That's what happens when I'm your filmmaker. So we're back from the walk now. I mean, it was only a small walk. Lunch was lovely. I was going to get a cake from like the best bakery ever, but I was so full. So we're going to save it for another day. Um, I've got a couple of exciting packages to open now. I have no idea what this is, um, but Tonight we're doing a cocktail making class with work, or I am, not Jen. Jen's going to training. Haha. <laughs> I know, I want to do this now. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm doing a cocktail making class with work. So they've sent through like a few bits and pieces. I think it's like a company they've used that basically sends all the ingredients and stuff. And then we just need like some ice, like a knife and a chopping board and bits and pieces. But I'm excited. Don't forget to put actual ice in the thing. Oh, right. This isn't exciting. <laughs> oh my. This is my new materials for my uh, <laughs> apprenticeship. Oh, it's got like a mini cocktail. 
making thing in it. What on oh. earth is that? It's to stop it from breaking, but it's not even glass. It's only plastic. How do I even get into this? It sounds like it's gonna pop. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, look, a little cocktail shaker. I mean, I've already got one, but it's cute anyway. And then. You can't see. I'll show you in a second. I've got hibiscus, strawberry, and mint, like a little extract. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. It's a mini Bacardi. Oh, so it's instead of using shot glasses, isn't it? They're the shots. Oh, is it? Yeah. This is pineapple juice. I don't actually know what cocktails I'm making, but I'm going to do a little time lapse of it later. Oh, I tell a lie. Here we go. So I'm making a mojito. Which I love. Soda water. Her Majesty. Oh, I've heard of that. Oh, Am I the only one that's not heard of Her Majesty? It's a known one. I know that. That's the Vermouth. What's Vermouth? Vermouth. That's to go in the Her Majesty. Is that a. That's passion fruit, yeah? Oh, does that, are you making oh, a. Are we doing a porn star? star We've got two limes. Oh, Pessoa, my babe, mint and guillaume, whatever that is. Little mini absolute vodka. Oh, it's even got like the mint leaves. Two straws, vanilla and passion fruit. Look how cute this all is. So nice, I'm really excited. So here's the mojito, if you wanna, I don't know, take a screenshot. <laughs> and here's the... Her Majesty. Okay, so I'm also up for the cocktail evening. It's literally six o'clock, so I'm probably gonna be in bed by about nine. But yeah, I've got everything set up here that they sent us, and then I've got a small glass for the Her Majesty, because I've seen that it's one of those ones. I think we're doing a porn star martini, so that's why I've got that glass. And then that one's probably for the mojito. And I've just got like a few things there. And then this is gonna be in my background because obviously I can't have it anything else other than the bar cart. So I'm probably just gonna set you up on a little time lapse so I can show you what we get up to. Mm -hmm. 